Ah, also, um, I was having a hard time bending this, uh, this thicker plywood here. And uh, so I have um, cut a bunch of thin slits to help bend it up. And, uh, and put on these ribs here, which, um, which are curved, similar to, uh, to back here. Got these curved ribs. And uh, I've pinned the plywood to those. And, uh, or uh, put screws through the plywood to, to hold the, uh, the plywood to the rib. And that facilitates that bending process. Um, now I did have a big, um, a big piece of wood right on the seam there. But, uh, actually those two, that, those two, uh, pieces of wood are what's left of that, that piece of wood. Um, that used to extend all the way across and that was helping to bend the whole thing up uniformly. Um, but I had to remove that for the stitching process, which meant that the uh, plywood kind of sagged down a little bit in a few places. So I've tried a few things. I tried uh, running a piece of wire from the end of the plywood to back here a little bit to, uh, to curl the, uh, the tip up a bit, and I jammed some some wooden blocks under there to uh, to emphasize the lift toward the end of the plywood along there. And uh, I tried something else here. I just grabbed uh, a scrap of wood, like like what, like this or something, and I just cut it and put a little a little angle cut out on the end, and then I screwed that angle cut out onto the end of the uh, of the plywood. So I put one screw through and then and then what? <laughs> so I screwed it on so it would attach roughly like that. But because of the cutout it would attach flat. Because that was flat. And then this would be sticking up like this. And then I screwed it down. So that would lift up the tip. How's the bike? Good. Well, it's, it seemed a little weaker today, but it's probably because going up the big hill, somebody spilled water on that side, mm -hmm, yeah. just where the, you know, it's steep and curving.